Do you remember you told me to make white rice and stew? Yes, exactly, for dinner. I was going to do it. Your mommy came to meet me and told me to make fried rice. Mm -hmm. I told her you specifically ordered for white rice and stew. The next day she's still calling me all sorts of names. But that shouldn't be your problem now. You should have simply listened to my mother and do what she says. Yes, my mother knows what's best for me and, 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 and she, she, she knows wait, exactly wait, what wait. to do. What exactly are you insinuating? What I'm trying to say for peace of being if you just, just listen to my mother, that's all. Are you trying to say I no longer know what's best for you? That's not what I'm saying now. I'm saying for peace to bring in this house. My mother knows me and she knows best for me. Listen, I'm about to be married to you and not your mother. Do you expect me to leave your orders now and start taking her orders? And I also want you to understand the fact that my mother has an exclusive right in this house. I've and had it up to here with your mother, like I said before. Is it that she leaves this house or I leave your house? Huh? Yes. Now I'm not going to walk. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying, in other words, you're saying I should throw my mother out of the house? Don't be naive, Jason. This is our home. And we need our privacy. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to walk. Never. I'm not going to walk. It's not possible. It's not possible. I can never throw my mother out of this house. In that case, I'm going to leave your house for you. I will leave you for good. Mm -hmm. You yeah. wretched thing. Suit yourself. It's okay. Is that all you're saying? What else do you want me to say? Or do you expect me to throw my mother out of the house because of you? You will always be a mommy's boy. Mm -hmm. You sports brat. Come I will back. leave your house for you and your mother. Take my mother out of this house. Take your house to your mom. Rubbish. Stop. You came there and left my mother and myself in this house. And you want me to throw my mother out because of what? Do you have diamond? Are they good? that I'm doing is very important to me. I just have to finish Oh, come it, so. on. I think you're overdoing it. I mean, everybody deserves a good night's sleep. But for me's sake, if you're going to deprive yourself because of this, I mean, for some work, you're depriving yourself from sleep? That's not what I'm saying, okay? Okay, so what are you saying? Um, don't worry. You know, we're going to be making a lot of money out of this if, yeah, if, very true. if the deal clicks, you know? Oh, come on, baby. I know, it's not really about the sleep, you know. I mean, it's about us. Tonight is cold. And I need you in my arms right now. Are you going to deprive us of this? Sweetie. Yes, babe. You know I love you so much. I love you too. Just come to bed. You know, if this contract is being awarded to me, okay. we're going to be making a lot of money for us. Very true. So don't worry, I'll join you soon, okay? I believe you. So, just give me some time. Let me just fix some things out. I'll spend you so I know, baby. Oh, come on. Mm, I love come you on, so baby. much. I love you. Okay. Oh, come on. You're not going to do this to me. Yes, yeah. baby. Oh, oh. All right. I'll join. Whatever. If you say so. But don't keep me waiting, baby. All right. I want. Thank you. I want to see you soon. Sandra, 
Come this way. What is this one? Is this food for poison? So you want to kill me? Uh -uh. I don't understand. What are you trying to say? It's poison, poison now. See, do you call this one food? Is it food or poison? But there's nothing wrong with this food. Food? Hey. Sandra, you are the biggest fool I've seen in this life. So you have the guts to open this your dirty mouth to talk back at me. There's nothing wrong with this. Mama, but this food is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. It's obvious your stupid mother didn't give you home. Uh -uh. Mama, Mama. Uh -uh. don't insult my mother. Don't insult my mother for any reason. Hey. I beg you. See, let me tell you. Your mother is very stupid. In fact, your entire family, they are Mama, all stupid. You are the one who is stupid. In fact, you are an old witch. What is it? You have the boy to talk back at me. Yes, you are a witch. Mama, you got me. 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 Mama, Mama, take your hands off. Me. Mama, take your hands off. You got me. You are a witch. Yes. Me. Mama, I respect you, Mama. You got me. Mama, leave my mouth. Leave my sex. Mama, Mama, Mama. Your mother, this is your stupid Sandra. She's calling you. It's a lie. She started the post. Your mother, because I refuse to open the post. So you are beating my mother in my own house. Baby, are you out of your freaking mind? No, 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 your mother insulted my family! She insulted your family? Yeah, and that's why you called my mother a witch, right? Baby, she started in the post. She called my mother stupid. And my entire family, what was I supposed to do? You couldn't wait for me to come back. You couldn't wait for me to come back. You started calling my mother names. All sorts of names, right? Baby, listen. I want to talk to you about this. But you just sit down there and do nothing about it. What am I supposed to do? Good. You just said it. You've always complained to me about it and I've done nothing, right? You see this day? You see now? I'm going to do something about it. Please. Please, I beg you. He hasn't gone into this. Please, I beg you. They must go to this day. I beg you. You are taking the things out of here and leaving my house right now. Please, go. I beg you. You don't know that. Today, on the weekend? Baby, you know that deal is coming up on Monday. I just need to fix some stuff up, okay? Okay. What's gonna happen to our outing together? Come on. I understand, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. But we'll do it some other time next week. Yeah, that's what you said last week. I'm sorry. Don't be naive. You know, this money I'm talking about is for both of us. Must it always be about money? Well, I don't want to. So, oh, I love you. Mm -hmm. Take care. I'll see you. You just need to listen to me, okay? I, I, I'm just trying to be a friend here, okay? Are you listening? I, I, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? For how long would you allow your mother to manipulate your relationships? Huh? For how long? You want to know for how long? Yes, I want to because know. Because she's my mother and she knows what's best for me. I am not disputing the fact that she is your mother. Okay? But for how long 
would she be stepping on all the girls that come into your life? She's only trying to protect her as a son, like every good mother would do. Okay. Don't, 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 you listen to me. me. You listen to me. What about girls like Jennifer? Okay? You, you think about that. How much she sacrificed for you just to prove to you that she loves you. She did everything. She did everything she could. And what did you do? You broke her heart. Point of correction. I did not break Jennifer's heart. Jennifer left on her own. Do you understand me? Listen, listen to yourself. She left. Why did she leave? Why the heck did she leave? Because of your mother. Do you think that's normal? You know what, Ben? What? You will do yourself a freaking good favor and stay off my fucking case. I said. You know what? I will stay off your case. You know, because I'm sick and I'm tired of trying to, 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 to talk to you. You know what? Just go to bed. Shit. Hey, Jason. Yes, I do. Well, I like keeping it on the download. You know how the country is like. I don't need to expose myself. It's nice. But you never told me how many big house like this. Well, you know how I do. Come on. Mm. Come on, feel relaxed. Come on, just sit down. Oh, it's nice. Feel comfortable. Yeah. So what do I offer you? Anything. Anything good. Anything good. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Down. What's the matter? Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? Do you have plans to give me now? Oh, the money. It's not a problem. Oh. I was supposed to go upstairs to get the drink while coming downstairs I was gonna come with the money. Is that okay? Now you're smiling. <laughs> now you're smiling. Are you serious? <laughs> now you're smiling. I mean, I, I can explain, and um, she just came in together, I mean... <sighs> wait, wait, baby, baby, I can explain, okay, she, she, please, um, I, I don't really, you know, I will explain to you when I call. Please, just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. I will explain to you when I call you. Please, just, please, just go. I will, I, I will call. Please, please. I will explain to you. I will call. Please. I promise. I will call. You are here. I've been waiting for you. Please, please let me call you back. Give me the riffraff. What can I do for you? Baby, this is not the ah, 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 ah. This is not the best way out of days. Days. For your information, I am not your baby. So don't ever call me that again, please. Nonsense. What exactly has come over you? What please. is this thing that's making you 
to throw away a relationship of two good years just like that. Two years with nothing to show for it. Jimmy, I met this guy two months ago. Look at this. Look at it. Rubbish. Just because he gave you an engagement ring? Not only that, he also promised to marry me. Something you couldn't do in the last two years. Who knows? <laughs> in the next two years, I will not only be his wife, but I will also be nursing his child. So please, leave me alone. S Sandra, please, I really love you. <laughs> I, I have good plans oh. for us. What plans? The plans have been here since the past two years. Jimmy, in fact, I'm tired of talking. Go! So Go home! Go home! Sandra. Sa oh Sandra, you can Sandra! Jimmy, Sandra, what sort of nonsense is this? Please stop following me around. Uh, I, Why? I really love you, Sandra. Please, Sandra. Uh, I've been a shadow of myself since you left me, Sandra. Please, Jimmy, please come you back are embarrassing me Sandra, and I don't please, like Sandra, it. Sandra, please come back. You better respect yourself and stop following me around. Sandra, Leave me alone. Please come back to me, Sandra. Sandra, please, please, Sandra. I was going to wait here for a taxi to take me to my fiance's house. But since you want to do this, I know what to do. Sa Sa Sandra! <laughs> Hi, hon. Yeah, I just um, finished from the office. I'm in front of the office now. Yeah, I just dress and all. I should wait for you right here. Um, okay, hon. You got me all in check. Alright, bye. Love you too. <laughs> Why is your girlfriend right? Yeah. Good. What does she want? She wants me to wait for her right here. I guess I rode alone. Sorry, bro. Just have to wait.
cross. I don't they go. Plus, I said I don't they go. Now, <gasps> bros, I they asked you, waiting with this 5,000. 5, My money now 20k. Waiting with this, why did they give me 5k? Oh, waiting with this. Are you mad? I give you 5,000 for one night. Why are you saying I should give you 20,000? Uh, did bros. I call you to stay here for, for one month? Yes, eh? in case you might know. It's for just a day. But I go, Ogabe, no let me change hand for you. I beg. No let me change hand for you. Huh? Take this 5k, get out of here. Okay, give me my money. No let me change hand for you. Oh. It's not 20k. No, I'll give you something. So you get problem. Okay, give me. Give, give my oh. money. Ah. Give me my money. Give me my money. Stupid man. Stupid man. I'm gonna drink to this. <laughs> Yo, my dog! Chase him, my man. <clears throat> Show. You picked up a whore, right? And then you got down with her all through the night, right? And you. Oh, yeah. Right? And then you couldn't pay for her services? <laughs> That's no what I said. I said we had an argument. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's what you said. You had an argument? I should beat you up! <laughs> How could you stoop so low as to pick up a prostitute? Okay, fine, all right. You picked up a prostitute. I did. But you took her home? Um, a man has to do what he has to do. Yeah. Sure, a man has to do what a man has to do, but... How about blessing? Chilma? Franca? Gladys, you, you want me to keep naming them? The list is so on and on. If you hadn't chased them away, they will be there for you. And then, if you want it, you can have it. Ben, why are you sounding as if you are a child? You're aware. Aren't you aware that my mother had issues with these girls or this list of useless girls that you just named? Your mother, your mother this, your mother that. Your mother has had problems with every girl you've taken home. I'm sure if you had a sister, your mother would have a problem with her saying, hey! Are you out of your mind? That's my mother you're talking about. Do you understand me? Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry, man. With all due respect, no pun intended. I don't mean to insult your mother. But Jason, you need to understand, you're no more a baby, okay? You're not that 10 year old kid her mother has to cuddle somewhere. You're a man with biceps, with triceps, with everything. You need to take charge of your life as a man. Ben, that's enough. Hi. <laughs> but I really need to meet that girl. You know the girl that gave me all this tribal max and stuff. <laughs> she good. <laughs> I mean, you need to meet more girls like that so they can give you enough tribal max to make you settle down. <laughs>
please i i honestly need your opinion okay i have these two in my hands and i really don't know which one to pick uh, i think this will go for you this one yeah <laughs> Excuse me. Why are you laughing? Well, the truth is, you just made a very terrible choice for me. Mm. Terrible choice. So, why did you ask me? Well, I actually called my mom and she chose this for me. I was just looking for um, another option. That's what I asked you. <laughs> you mean your mother chose this for you? Yeah. A striped tie on a striped shirt? Your mother must be terrible when it comes to fashion. Excuse me? Are you in any ways trying to insult my mother? Neither are you in any way trying to ridicule me. Like seriously? You're trying to be rude to my mother even in her absence? Listen, I don't have time for jokes this morning. Man. This is really funny. Really funny, right? Yes, my mother made the best choice for me, okay? I don't need your opinion. Thank you. Um, please, um, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, who is here? Hello? Hello? I'm about to be married to you and not your mother. Do you expect me to leave your orders now and start taking her orders? And I also want you to understand the fact that my mother has an exclusive right in this house. I've right? had it up to here with your mother, like I said before. Your mother, this is your stupid Sandra. She's calling me. It's a lie. She's finally the first. Your mother, because I refuse your mother to call me. Before. Before. So you are beating my mother she in my own house. Baby. Are you out of your freaking mind? No, 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 no. Couldn't wait for me to come back. You started calling my mother names. All sort of names, right? Baby, listen. I want to talk to you about this. But you just sit down there and do nothing about it. What am I supposed to do? Good. You just said it. You've always complained to me about it and I've done nothing, right? You see this day? You see now? I'm going to do something. Stop calling my number. Yes, what is it? Stop calling my number for Christ's sake. Hi. I'm, please, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean to just bounce on you like that. I, I actually need a second of your time, please. A second just passed. Well, what do you see? I... What do you want? What do you see? I just want to make up on my bad attitude the other day we met. It doesn't matter. Besides, your mother is not here. So why are you trying to be nice? Um, please, I, I want to pay for this. Why is she talking to my mother? Hello. Okay. Uh, please, I handle it. 
at hundreds, okay? okay Let me just... Okay. Listen, I... I know... I know how much I offended you did the last... Alright, stop Last time we met here, but I... I oh, please. Okay, I'm... Um, I'm okay. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna stop talking for you. Oh. It is card yours. Is this for your company? No, no. Thanks. Ah, hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, well, well, I'm here to see Cleo Abbott. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a friend. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, she just left like 10 minutes ago. You're late. Um, sorry, if I may ask, who exactly are you? Oh, Jason. My name is Jason. Really? Cleo and I are best friends. And she's never said anything about you to me. Are you guys friends? Sure. Are you serious? <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Listen, I think I'm in the right place at the right time talking to the right person. Listen, to me, and there's something I want you to understand from me, okay? I'm in love with your friend. I'm deeply in love with her. But whenever I try to meet her and make her understand, she just doesn't give me audience. You know, I, I've, I've tried, I've tried. I, I, I tried to explain things to her. But she, she's been so difficult in dealing with. That's clear for you. She could be difficult. Oh, I must tell you, you have a huge task ahead of you. Please, how do I meet her? You'll have to come earlier than this. Okay. But not during working hours. Because she puts her work first. She won't grant you audience at all. Okay, fine. So when do you suggest that I show up? Um by this time tomorrow. But please, uh a bit earlier than this. Okay, good. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm very sorry. I, I I I really don't want to offend you. I don't know where you're heading to right now, but I'm a little curious. I could we just go somewhere a little conducive where we can sit and talk more about her? Uh, for Cleo. Thanks, thanks a whole lot. I really do appreciate. Please. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Come this it's way. fine. Come okay then. Way. All right. What in God's name are you doing here? I thought I made it clear to you on phone that I don't want to see you. You need to listen to me, please. I'm not interested in the bullshit you're about to say. I said, now, nah, fake your sorry ass and leave my ass this minute. 
I'm really sorry. Please. Sandra, sorry. I don't want to manhandle you. So leave now. Please. Oh, oh, okay. So you want me to handle this in the head, right? I said leave now. Thank you. Sandra, I leave. You. I said go. Please, I still love you. Come again and see what I'll do. for the last time, don't come to this house again, idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to know how much time do I have left? Good, good, good. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. As a matter of fact, I'm really, really on my way. I'm glad you're coming towards you right now. Yeah, okay. find me here? <laughs> well, I think that should be the wrongest question you would like to ask. <laughs> Listen, I do not entertain uninvited guests. And you are not exceptional. You hear me? Tasha, let's go. Hey, hey. There could be a better way. your voice. Yeah, it's not that guy we, we, we saw on our way back from the office the other day. Who? Jason? Where is he? Has he gone? I can't remember telling you the guy's name and telling you anything about him. What do you know about him? 
Not that I know much, oh. But a little. Just a little. Wait a minute. I hope it's not what I am thinking. What? Oh, Tasha, how could you? So you're the one who has been giving information about me to that guy. When I come back from the office, when I'm at home, when my, my name, everything about me. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? How could you give information about me to a total stranger without my consent? How could you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. But I could not help it. When the guy told me how much he was in love with you. For Christ's sake, what do you know about men and their lives? What do you know? Please. You need to come out of this yourself. And let true love possess you once again. Once what again. true love are you talking about? What true love? I don't want to have anything to do with this favor for Christ's sake. Anyways, I am not going to stand and discuss this cock and bull stories with you. I'm off to my Oh room. man, I'm not the same. Oh, where are you going to? No, you listen to me for Christ's sake. I just said it to you. I don't want to have anything to do with any man. Listen yes. to me, Cleo. Cleo! Please, I am not in the mood. Leave me in the hell alone. You know, she's really difficult to get through to. Why? Remember I told you it was not going to be easy. Obviously, I don't expect her to just give in to me like that. But, I mean, she's, she's just taking it way too far. I wasn't even expecting her to have held it this long. Cleo has been through so many ups and downs with men. The last one she had broke her down for months. She almost lost her job, you know. Okay, so uh, I guess she's recovering from it right now. Right? Exactly, that's my point. You just need to be patient with her. That's why she's been so harsh to you. In fact, not just to you, to every human being that has a spot in between their legs. Okay, all right. Let's see how it goes. I'll take my chance. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking, you know, she has to see that in you. Yeah. I'll try as much as possible and strategize another formula and see how it goes. Something, something, or some new formula yeah. and see how it works. Yeah, good. Um, sorry, dear. I really have to start leaving now. Thanks a whole lot. I really appreciate you. <laughs> it's I fine. really appreciate you dropping by. It's okay. okay. It's okay then. You have a nice day, okay? You too. You know you almost ran me over with your car? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I, I... Obviously you are looking for an attention. Now you've gotten it. What can I do for you? I, I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, okay? Take your I... very good time. Take your time. No, no, no. Okay, okay. L -l Listen up. For the fact that I, I offended you, let me, let me make it up to you, okay? Let me drive you to whatever place you are going. Let save me... it. Just save it. 
please, 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 please. I'll drive. I'll take you. Do you want me to kneel down? I'll kneel down, please. No. Okay, please, please. I've seen a scene here. Okay, okay, fine. I'll go with you. It's, it's okay. Right. Thank you very much for bringing me home. <laughs> ah, you're welcome. You see, uh, there's something I want you to understand. I want you to know that I meant every word I said to you. Every bit of it. <laughs> I, I understand you perfectly well. But you have to give me some time to think about it. I've been hurt in the past, and I have to be very careful this time around. Cool, that I can handle that. I hope you can handle it. Yeah. Okay. okay. But not for too long. Um, I'll try not to keep you waiting. Yet. Um, please don't even pretend. I saw the way you smiled back at him. If you didn't, would you have looked at him that way? Oh. <laughs> that? Mm -hmm. Oh, listen, I don't have the strength to discuss that right now. See, I'm very tired. I need to go and eat and look for something to do. Chill up, man. Chill up. Just relax yourself. I'll tell you everything. Soon. Very soon. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Fine. Fine. You know, you're my pal. I can't hide anything from you, okay? So, yeah. I met this girl who made a very remarkable impression on me. But guess what? It's by her rudeness. <laughs> Yes, her rudeness. Uh, when I actually thought she was being rude, uh, I later realized that what I saw as being rude was nothing but a fact. Uh, of course, I've told her. It was just 
she's aware we are lovers, we are dating. The truth is, I want to make her my wife. You've got a point, right? Yes, you've got a point. Uh, I think about it. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're right. You're right. Okay, uh, we're going to see this late evening, right? weeks and you got this. Imagine what will happen if this relationship stays up to six months. Obviously, in six months. I'm gonna be called Mrs. Jason Ebuka. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but babe, I'm a little bit tense. Why? Because everything is just happening so fast. He's not giving me time to think about it. Come on. Come on, he's just excited. And he can't wait for you to be his wife. Yeah, no, but I have to be careful. I guess I, I, I need to be very sure if he really loves me to be his wife. Don't even go there. Of course he loves you. Remember I was the one he came to to talk about you, okay? And I needed no one to tell me that he was in love with you. Don't worry about everything, huh? Everything will fall into place. I know, I love you. I love <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. Wow, I love your ring. Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Man, you lucky. I can't believe she accepted your ring in such a short while. Seriously, I was even surprised. The truth. You know, I had that seriously had to work on her. I feel you. And I finally convinced her in wearing my ring. I feel you. You know, but from the stories you've told me about her and about how stubborn she is, I'm really surprised. You know, girls like that want to, like, okay, okay, I'll think about it. Just give me some time. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. But that, that's not my problem right now. My problem is I have very huge talks ahead of me. Which is? Which is I'm trying as much as possible to convince her and get married to her. But without my mother's consent. Hmm. I dig. But you know that wouldn't be easy at all. I know. I know. I know definitely not a bit easy. But I will work things out. I will do my best to make sure I work things out. I wish you luck. And um, a toast. A toast, a quick toast. A quick toast to what? A toast to what? <laughs> a toast um, to a happy married life. <laughs> yeah. And no, no mistresses this yeah. time. And no booty on the side, okay? <laughs> and also, no girls beating you up again. <laughs> <laughs> I've suffered too much. I'm I've had that shit again. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Your mother is still alive. It's not as if she's dead. We're gonna wait for her. Sorry, what are you talking about? Eh? I don't want to take my chance of keeping you waiting. And why another man might just come and take you away from me? Come oh, on, baby. Why are you talking like this? For Christ's sake, I am engaged to you. Of course you're engaged to me, but anything can happen in the process. I can't possibly go and, and, and start having an affair with any other man. You have to wait for your mother to come back. Okay, so what exactly do you want me to do right now? Maybe I'm sorry. We're going to wait. 
So what are you talking about? My mom is in Europe. She's going on with her activities here, starting to stay here and wait for her to come back before I get married to you. Now I'm sorry. I don't know what else you want me to do, but I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, let's okay, okay. Well, let's let's handle this thing first. You know, my mother is busy somewhere. This is so serious. So what are his excuses? His excuses does not hold water. That the mother is in Europe, very busy with her business, and she has given her consent for us to get married. Do you suspect anything? Maybe the mother is dead or something? No, she's not. She's not dead. He told me that if the mother was dead, he would have told me the same time he told me about the father. She's mm. still alive. Hmm. This is serious. The most annoying part is he has made arrangements for us to get married in two weeks. What? So what are you going to do about this? I am as confused as ever. I don't know what to do. Trust me, I love this man so much. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. You mean you don't have any intention of calling off the wedding? Hell no. Is that what you're saying? No, nothing on earth is going to make me to call off the wedding. I just want to see them. Knowing the fact that I am an orphan, if they would just take me like that. <sighs> okay. You said the wedding is in two weeks time, right? Yes, dear. Don't worry. I'll do some findings on my own. I know about his people. Why you go on with the wedding preparation, okay? Are you serious? Oh my God. You are such a <laughs> darling. Come on, dear. Oh, what are friends for? You know to have each other's back. Especially at times like I this. I know. Thank you. So you have nothing to worry about. That. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm so happy right now. You should be. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about, okay? Uh, so what do I get you to drink? Anything. <laughs> Intentional, something happened. Uh, I don't even care what happened though. Even if the girl was pregnant, don't I start the right to be informed? Mama, you don't understand. The thing is that I had a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And in my sleep, you you were in a plane and the plane crashed. Mm -hmm. So I felt that you're not coming back again. Mm -hmm. That's what I went there to marry my wife. It means you wanted me dead. You dreamt. Plane crash, all of that. I know you wanted me there so you could marry. Mama, oh my god, I am so excited to see you. Mama, excuse me, who is Mama, it's me, Jason's wife. Jason's wife, is that news or what? You can't recognize me from the pictures he sent to you. What photograph are you talking about? Please excuse me, I need to talk to my son if you don't mind. Oh my god. Just excuse us. <laughs> What is what? You don't have to be rude to her. Hmm. She's not accepted in this family. Huh? Yes, so you heard me right. Ma, no, 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 man. You, you, you listen to me. No, you listen to me. I carried you in my womb for nine months. I know what is best for you. This girl is not good enough for you. I have said that before and I'm saying it again. And that is fine now. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, I'm Baby, what are you doing here in the bedroom? I told you to be downstairs preparing something for us to eat. I guess I'm talking to someone. Ignoring me could just be another. 
tree? What's wrong with you? What, what, what are you crying? Huh? What? What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Come on. Huh? What's wrong? She couldn't recognize me from the pictures you sent to her. That. Should it come on? Don't let that bother you, okay? I'll handle it. So, how did she run her approval of the wedding if she doesn't know who I am? She doesn't know me. Can't you see it? She hates me. She hates me so should, much. Should it, should it. Come on, say that. Of course, I told her about you. Okay. It's just that you know how our old people behave. They behave as if, as if they've forgotten everything you ever told them and then start to put up attitude. That's oh, it. please come off it. Don't patronize me. I heard everything she said. I heard it. What? 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 Why are you doing this? Why? See, I should be asking such questions. Why am I, what I'm doing? What I'm doing. You know, listen, of course I told her, I told my mom about it. I told her, she's aware. I just hope you know what you're doing. Of course I know exactly what I'm doing. You are my wife, she is my mother. You guys should just give me some time to handle this stuff. You were a slut before I married you! I was never a slut before you married me. <laughs> Haven't I told you that this marriage shit is over between us? Oh. How many times have I told you to lock this door before you enter? Who did this to you? It's Jason. Jason! Jason! That man you beat up there is my husband for Christ's sake. Have you considered what would have happened to me if you had beaten him to his death? Has he ever considered what would have happened to me if he had sent you to an illegal? You are sick in a very sick in the head. Because the last time I checked, you have to make love to a woman before she gets pregnant. Not by talking to her. It's been six months, I've not kissed you, I've not touched you. Talk of me even making love to you. So what happened? Exactly three months when you came back drunk, you slept with me in your room. Go in my house, take your freaking things out of my house. I don't ever want to set my eyes on you again. Because you're a bloody liar. You mean that bastard got you pregnant and still had the nerves to throw you out? Can I see him now? No. He said he doesn't want to see you. Are you kidding me? I will come for him. I will come for him. Because he can never pull this evil act of my sister and get away with it. Cleo has always been there for me. You'll have to fly to Canada. Because that's where Cleo and her baby are. Or rather, your supposed baby. Tasha! 